Welcome to On The Air with Stefan Aronson. I'm doing throwbacks to past shows at Mutiny Radio. All the good times. This next interview is Lime Cordial from Australia. They're touring through San Francisco, but they were based in LA. I think you're gonna dig this interview. Uh, I got a phone call I'm gonna make in about three minutes to an Australian band who just toured through San Francisco. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about their trip to San Francisco and what their plans are. Up right now is Lime Cordial. Oh, she's so immature. Like she was about 10 years ago. Can I have her, she says. She's been saying this again and again. Oh, just too lazy to move. Innocent bits and jaws has to be. So that was Lime Cordial. Now I'm gonna try something that like I rarely try, which is to make phone calls out of the studio. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know how this is going to work, but let's find out if I can call Lime Cordial right now and be like, "What's happening, guys?" And um, so here it goes. Um, okay, dial tone. That's a good start. All right. Ouch, that's loud. Let's turn that down. It's ringing. That seems like a good start, yeah? I feel like I'm prank dialing someone like the 90s or something. Hi, this is Jonathan. I can't get to my phone right now. Um, hmm. Please leave a message, and I'll call you back as soon as I can. It's too Thanks. bad. Bye. At the tone. What should we say to him now? It is a prank dial. When you have finished recording, you may Maybe I dialed it wrong. Press one for more say, oh my gosh, I love your band so much. I was listening to it on Mutiny Radio, and you guys are like so good. Ha. Oh my gosh, I love it. Anyway, um, call me. 
I think I hung up on him. Anyway, let's listen to the last of their songs and I'll just make him call me. Pshaw. Now you're on the air, huh? Yep. Oh man, we we um, prank dialed your answering machine. Oh no, sorry. Yes. <laughs> so um, when you get that, you can just pretend like it's an adoring fan, and you're like, oh my gosh, we have adoring fans. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Or adoring fan radio station. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. I felt like we were in the '90s, and um, and I had just uh, like I don't know, like the equivalent for me would be like. Portland's Z100, like the morning zoo, calling someone in the morning and being like, let's prank dial our friend. Um, <laughs> I gave I gave everybody like a, a minor intro of you guys, but I feel like you should give the pitch of like what the heck an Australian band is doing, doing touring up and down the West Coast and whatnot. Well, I mean, in Australia, it's a great country. Don't get me wrong. I love being there. Um, and I love being in a band there because we have a nice fan base there and everything. But being here... There's just so there's so much opportunity for a band, you know, and and for us we're kind of lucky enough that our manager has a lot of friends over here, so we can we've kind of jumped in and you know we have an agent that's booking us shows and that sort of thing, um, and for us we chose California because we need to be by the ocean, you know, we need to be surfing when nice. we get that craving and that. Yeah. So we grew up at a pretty similar um, area to this, like we grew out of the surf scene of of Sydney north of Sydney so um, to come here it, it almost feels like we're just kind of starting again in a way but with a bit more experience and I mean we're just loving it just just because there's there's so many different avenues and stuff and with, with Australia there's kind of there's a couple of radio stations you can take your stuff to and if they don't spin it then you're all on you're all on your own really I gotcha so then where, where in California are you guys calling home base right now well, we've been changing around a little bit just because I like to be in houses. I don't like to be in hotels. Plus, it saves a little bit, bit of money, and you can you can strive to make some friends. So we started off in uh, downtown LA for two weeks with a friend there, and that was really really cool. But we we're a bit squished in that apartment, a bit far from the beach. We moved to Bel Air, which is actually not a very far um, trip to the beach, and it's super posh, a little bit too posh for my liking in Bel Air. Fresh Princes. Yeah. So we were there for a little while, and then we we went up and did a tour around San Francisco. So that was all that was all good. Yeah, you guys um, played. You and played... now we're back at our friend's house in Hollywood, and we're almost looking for some accommodation. So if anyone wants to, you know, house a couple of good-looking boys, Australian boys. <laughs> yeah, they're welcome to. Um, um, are, are, are all the band members single? That way they know whether or not they can, like, um, um, have three single or, like, four single Australian guys well, in there? I'm, I'm single, and that's enough, isn't it? I, th- I mean, I won't, speak for the, I won't speak for the people that are going to house you, but one seems like a start. <laughs> yeah, there's only three of us, actually, from Australia, because our band, the, um, the way that we've modeled ourselves is that our band is pretty much my brother and myself, and then we just pick up whoever we want along the way, depending where we are, depending who wants to tour with us. So we brought a drummer over, and he tends to play most of our shows back in Australia. But um, we've got a tr- uh, trombonist that's a Californian. He's from um, through and through. And then we've got an English guitarist, and he's been here for about a year. So he's touring with us, and he shreds. So, yeah. They've nice. kind of got their accommodation sorted out. So we're, there's three of us. 
Three Australian boys. Uh, when you guys played San Francisco on the second at Milk Bar, is that right? Yeah, it was awesome. That was actually my favorite show so far. We got to San Francisco, and then there was a good crowd there, and everyone danced and loved it. And yeah, it was just really good vibe. Yeah, Milk it reminded bars. me a lot of Sydney actually. Yeah, Milk Bar is pretty fun. And um, uh, while you've been in LA, have you do- discovered any like new favorite bands? I've got a few uh, bands here that I, I really like, like the Growlers, the Ah La La's, and I went to the there's this Monday School Night, which is a Monday show, and there's just always really good bands there um, on Monday night, so I'll probably go there again tomorrow. Do you, but uh, yeah, there's some great band. Do you guys, okay, so there was a band that was big in San Francisco in the, the late 90s, or, or not late 90s, late 2009 is what I meant to say, 2009, 2010. And uh, a friend of mine from Melbourne uh, really, 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 really liked him. And he, um, they were called The Matches. And when he got here, yeah. he was like, oh, my gosh, the, like, The Matches were from here, and they're so cool. And the reason he liked The Matches is because the lead singer, um, when The Matches stopped, started playing for an Australian band called Maniac. Um, okay. Do you know the Australian band Maniac? No, I don't, actually. Oh, wait, I'm let's... not sure why. I mean, there's only about 10 people living in Australia, so you'd think I would. The other, the, I might be having the names wrong. Let's see. Currently involved in a project Maniac with Jake Grigg of Australian rock band Something With uh, Numbers. I don't know if you know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know Something With Numbers for sure. Yeah, so Something With Numbers, I guess, is, a, is the band that was before, and then he teamed up with the guy from Matches to create a new band called M- Maniac. Yeah, right. I'll have to check him out. I'll check out the Matches as well. Matches. Yeah, it's um, you probably won't. F- well, it'll all be old stuff, but you could find them. But yeah, I mean, I, I expect the San Francisco um, music scene and the bands up there to be really, really cool, just because everyone seems to be super hip and trendy and really cool up there. You know, there's a lot of dogs living in LA, but in San Francisco, it's kind of where the the style is, isn't it? Uh, you mean it's the style to be cool? Yeah, I mean, everyone oh, yeah. seems a lot cooler up there. I, I'm not going to argue with you at all, at all. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I just kind of expect the music and the, everything to be a lot cooler as well. Well, that's what we're trying to do. Hey, tell yeah. us tell us about um, uh, Sleeping at Your Door. Um, well, this song I wrote about an ex-girlfriend. I think we were kind of on the way to breaking up just because she was fully wanting to commit and get married and have some kids and stuff. I mean, not to that extent, really, but it was pretty close. And I was kind of freaking out and wanted to be fun and young and, you know, tour the states and that sort of thing. So, I, I don't know. I was just feeling frustrated. And the whole song's not completely about that relationship. It's just about uh, young frustration, I guess. It's a bit hard for me to explain it. But I, I, guess, I guess the lyrics are fairly literal, if you have a listen to those. But other than that, I wrote this song with a, with a guy in Sydney who has an awesome, like, soul Motown band. And I couldn't believe I was able to write with him. I just met him and went to went to one of his shows, and he said, "Do you want to come visit me in my studio and do some writing?" And and we just wrote it in one night. Um, and then Louis came on, my brother, and and kind of helped out with the chorus and and finished it off for us. So um, yeah, it was really cool. This is this old Motown vibe and gypsy dancing. I like it. Nice. So um, before before I play this song, um, can you tell everybody like the, remind them the name of your band and where they can find you online, and then uh, we'll we'll end this conversation by by playing that song. All right, great. Well, my name's Oliver Lineback, and I'm from Lime Cordial. We're from Sydney, Australia, and you can find us on all those classic little websites: YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And we just do that all ourselves, so I like having little conversations with people. If you like the song, then let us know. Nice. All right, so when you guys tour back through San Francisco, you got to stop by the studio. All right, thanks for, thanks, for, thanks for calling in, guys, and I'll play uh, Sleeping at Your Door, and then it'll also be on our podcast so you can hear it again later. All right, thanks, man. Right, appreciate it. Take care. Bye. All right, up next is Sleeping at Your Door by Lime Cordial from Australia.
That was Lime Cordial from Australia. Um, hopefully they tour back through here in June like they said they're going to. Um, I'll look forward to having them on the show if they do then.